Welcome to Amazing You, where we're going to reclaim your identity, step into your power, and activate your soul's purpose. I'm your host, Dr. Alicia Antica. You can find my programs, courses, books, and trainings at lishaantica.com. Let's get started. So we'll start, we'll start our Mondays as always with this explanation of what happens here. So welcome. Welcome, welcome. So my name is uh, Dr. Alicia Antica. I'm a doctor of transpersonal psychology and got my PhD in transpersonal psychology. And what that means is I've studied um, normal psychology. Um, and I've studied normal psychology, but I also studied spiritual psychology, um, spiritual healing, spiritual awareness, uh, deeper forms of, of psychology. And, um, and then, you know, I've, I've had my own experiences where just being, being born this way, transpersonal psychology aligned with me because a lot of times, especially for trauma and um, for me, I'm born a transmuter, if that speaks to you. And um, so I've had this gift of coming in, knowing that I'm here to end martyrism, end the cycle of abuse. So I'm on this team to transform trauma. And, um, ah, Akura, oh, I listened to your, um, yeah, I listened to your, you're singing your activations and let me just say, sorry you guys to interrupt, but um, I feel very aligned and it feels very beautiful. So thank you for filling my cup every once in a while when I, when I come upon you. I appreciate that soul sister. Okay, so um, back, back to what this is. So each morning I come live to do these healings to help you transform trauma and also help you to understand your identity. Your identity um, as a soul and your identity in human form and, and how, how these tools that we often act like are our identity, how they mesh in our lives. So um, this philosophy is you have a body, you are not your body. You have a mind, you are not your mind. You have emotions, you are not your emotions. You have an etheric field, uh, electromagnetic field around you, and you are not that electromagnetic field. Many people think that this field is their spirituality, right? It's the place where maybe you see angels or you, when you had that trauma, maybe you have out-of-body experiences or disassociation. Um, that's the field that that happens in. And then you have a, a soul, right? And the soul is, is yours. It's your soul. It's your activation. It's your peace of God that is is in you, is through you, is expressing through you, that is on this cycle that we call the earth ride, right? Um, whether you believe in any faith, religion, um, the Big Bang, or that we live in a assimilation, like this is, this is, this is all of that. So I help people figure out who they are and um, this is what happens. So you come into this world and you are a soul with all these tools inside and then eventually um, as we go through this world and we get trauma or we get um, programmed right by our families, by our friends, by society, by religion, by dogma, um, we have we have this this relationship. So. You go through your first trauma and the soul like separates. The body goes, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna protect the soul, right? And then it separates more and more and more and more. And eventually, for many people, the soul's kind of like this, living above or below you, or maybe to one side or the other. It's kind of out here, that direct connection to God's source, that direct connection for you to co-create within this reality, your, your ideal life, your most, beautiful life for you to understand how to care for and love yourself is is separated 
And the next most powerful part of transformation that you have is your electromagnetic field. And this is also like your relationship with people around you, what people think about you, how they think about you, what, what that is. And, and right now this, this is kind of weak, right? Instead of asking for what you want and getting it or expressing what you need and, and your parents being there for you, oftentimes they're not. So we learned that this world doesn't really give us what we want and it's sometimes even unsafe. And as we get more and more unsafe asking for what we want, getting what we need, getting our needs met, this electromagnetic field, we feel powerless, we feel like we can't, that that gets separated. And then we have our next most powerful line of transformation, and that is your emotional body. So your emotional body is still working in that etheric energy zone of movement, energy, and motion, your emotional body. But lately it's getting better, but oftentimes we're told don't feel that way, how to feel, what to feel, and that is um, that is separated. So we have this, this part that our emotional body is, is separated and we're not allowed to feel, we're supposed to feel a certain way. We don't learn how to actually navigate our feelings and that's something I teach in my courses. Um, it's very individual for you. And then the next is our thoughts. So we're taught that thinking and thoughts are really, really super powerful, but they're really the third most powerful way to heal and transform trauma, drama, disease, um, illness, depression, anxiety, um, heal trauma. But we're told that the brain is really powerful. But we're told what to think, how to think, and not how to activate our own thinking. And then we're told we're dumb, we're stupid, we're this, we're that, and we don't have all these tools. So then that is kind of kicked off, and we don't have power over our brains. And then we're left with this body, and this is a human doing. And human doing goes around and does, 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 and is trying to do things the right way and trying to please everybody in their environment and trying to do things, right? And we're human doings and our human doing breaks down and then we have dis-ease. And um, so we think to treat this disease, we need something from the outside world, but that's not really it. We actually need our inside world. We need our soul. We need to turn our world upside down. So feeling this, knowing that this is your battery pack, taking care of your body. You are not a body, you have a body. Learning how to think and be your best friend and and trust trust your thoughts. Where's, where is it at? Right, so you can manage your own mind because you are not your mind, you have a mind. And then knowing how to work your energy, your energy in motion, your emotion, and how to feel and communicate your emotion and process your emotion so your emotions are moving. You can stay in that so you can create this high vibe and authority in your life, be your own authority and begin co-creating your life in a beautiful way, manifesting new things, learning how to work this three-part tool to um, move your body, think your thoughts that align with your emotions to manifest a reality that you'd really, really desire and totally encompass and embody your truth, your alignment, your joy, your highest purpose. And that is the my mission to help you end the cycles of abuse and, uh, and heal. So I know that many people popped off during my little explanation, but I would love to answer any questions before we go into the healing. In this healing each day, I use a combination. It's kind of, it's not kind of, it's totally led by source spirit. Um, some days when I'm super tired, we just come and sit and I lead you through the process, the um, check-in process of I am. Other days I do Reiki, other days I do light language and soul healings. Other days I do teaching, other days, like so it's it's always a master class, it's, it's always here and it's always a journey and every day is different and I don't really plan it. It's, it's God led, it's whatever you guys show up for and um, my intention is to end the cycle of abuse and, uh, and thrive. Hello, hello. So that is what we're about to do at the top of the hour. We have about 10 minutes. Um, any questions for those of you that are new?